Hello and welcome back to my channel. This is part three of two ways to make a silicone covered lampshade base for stained glass art. Now I know I said two ways, but I wanted to divide this up into a separate area because this time I'm gonna use the water soap method and I'm gonna use it over a balloon to make a flexible mold. I was gonna add this to the, the part two method, but I, I just thought it would be better as a separate video. It is kind of fun. What I used was I took a large balloon and then I glued it to a plastic container. This happens to be a Panera plastic bowl. And this is the second part of what I did. Um, I'm showing you how I actually mixed the, um, the silicon. So I'm using 100% silicon. And yeah, this time instead of squeezing the silicon out of the tip, I'm just cutting off the end of the silicon um, tube because it's just easier to get the whole hunk out. I'm using white silicon here because I'm not going to actually draw any concentric circles or anything on this. So I just wanted to just use a white silicon. So I'm just using a, a basic two by two and squeezing the, the silicon out of the tube in one big clump into the water. And I'm mixing the water with um, Dawn dishwashing detergent, just like I did in the last video. Now, the reason I'm using a balloon was I wanted a flexible mold so that when my um, lampshade that I'm gonna be making gets around the diameter and then starts getting thin again at the bottom of the sphere, I um, will be able to remove the mold. So this is similar to my, yeah, it's eight times um, the timing because it gets a little boring. So this is similar to some of the Christmas ornaments that I made in that I end up with a hollow mold. And since I couldn't find where I could buy, whoo, I popped the balloon a hollow mold this size, I decided to make my own. And it worked out very nicely. I can make these all different sizes and I'll be able to see they're flexible. So um, after I make the lampshade, I'll be able to um, get the mold out. Obviously after I, and, and I'll show you when I'm, when I'm using this next, um, I'm going to be filling this mold with some um, cornstarch so that it won't stick to itself. You know, over the years, maybe the, the um, silicone would, would start getting tacky on the inside. I didn't want it to, um, to be unusable. So I'm pulling out the, the balloon. Yeah, there's my kitty and dog in the background. Um, so I'm pulling out the old balloon out of the inside and throwing that away. And then I'm going to put some of the cornstarch powder on the inside of the balloon. Right now it's not sticking to itself, but hey, you never know what it'll do. Um, so I'll, I'll be filling this balloon uh, mold with some kind of stuffing um, to hold its shape when I do the actual stained glass work. But this will, this will have a nice sphere and because it's silicon, it's gonna be heat resistant and I'll be able to tack thumbtacks into it um, and it's flexible. So it's just a really ideal mold for if you want a round type of, or, or any type that you wanted to make the mold over um, form for your lamp. So thanks for watching and I'll show you when I actually work on it to make a lamp. Bye-bye for now.